Okay, we're at uh, Bilderberg 2013 with um, Peter and Roger, and we've got a sign here, Magna Carta 2015, and these guys have set up a table, um, it's very kindly allowed me to use his guitar to sing some songs, and we've got a Lawful Rebellion t-shirt here, so can you give us an idea what's happening here? I'm a bit excited about this table. We are the Ministry of Health, we've been set up by Roger and myself, and we're part of the Committee 100, set up by Roger Hayes, he's the Chairman of the British Constitution Group. Catch what they're saying, sorry. Yeah, he's the Chairman of the British Constitution Group. Right. Uh, so Roger Hayes, yeah. Yeah, what we're doing is we're setting up an independent uh, society with our own banking system, our own health system, our own energy system, and our own food distribution system, among all Oh, this has really society. moved on and yeah, progressed yeah, yeah. since yeah, yeah. Uh, I spoke, since the Roger Hayes talk I went to. It was That's just it. a bank. No, no. And now it's free energy, and yeah. what about food? Mm. Yeah, food. We're setting up food distribution networks. Um, I've set this up. But we're growing the food and... Yeah, growing yeah. the food in this country. They, we, we've started to contact them. The different organic farms. Yep. We want to bring them got the organic food here for people to eat. Yep. Organic potatoes and chickpeas and We steak. even have our own Lugo to boot with our information. It's a big tree, it's a big oak tree. Oak tree, which is Let's have a look at symbolism here. Symbol of England. Yeah, I mean Art there's, there's no occult sort of ritualistic kind of symbolism here. No. It's genuine actual tree. We love trees. Yes. Right. Because we love our if, environment. If a builder were burger was making a symbol, it would be something occult in it, you know, or tree of life or something, you know, but yeah. just th this is actually real. Very simple. Genuine people doing this. And what's happening with Organic food Carter. farms, fantastic. And distribution networks and yeah. free energy and banking and great. And the, and the point of the Magna Carta 2015 as a banner yeah. is that this is a sort of marketing umbrella because on the 15th of June 2015 is the 800th anniversary of the signing of the Magna Carta. It needs to be reconstituted, doesn't it? That's, and That's this right. is what we're doing. So we are declaring independence under international law, forming right. our own society, so we'll have our own bank, our own currency. Will you have your own land for that? An area set back? Well, eventually we, live, we are all living on this land and we're lawfully allowed to do that. I often so wondered about it being a, a test case like Cornwall or something who's, who, who's always sort of veered towards independence and never really quite got there. At a local level, just get troopers into the council and well, slowly but surely incrementally take over. What, what we will Declare do, independence then. I always thought right. that was a good idea. What do you think of that? Well, what we will do is all the people who are with us, we suddenly opt out of the existing system. We send back a national insurance number, we send back birth certificates, marriage certificates, so we decouple from the maritime law that we're all tricked into. Yeah, so maritime law, do. exactly. So yeah. the system we've got now is so rotten, it's not fixable. So we're turning our back on it and we're starting our own society. People can join us or not join us, that's up to them. See, that's kind of where I am in my head at this stage yeah. after four years, you know. We can do that actually as a Demazon. If you look up Demazon and how you become that, you can get out of the system. You as still have. Side, yeah. yeah, we can actually do that and we can be in this system. We're kind of doing that, but we want to set the system up alongside this system to show actually we care about each other, we're coming in with common law, natural law. We it's want like to medieval help. times, but with, with, with the empowerment. Yeah, but the, yeah. Uh, well, like medieval times. Yeah, people are responsible uh, for themselves. Times too. Yeah, yeah, responsible for yourself, responsible for your people around you, responsible for your environment, responsible for your food, your health. But we want to give guidance as well because we understand how heavily we've been hit with the chemtrails, the GMOs and all the fluoride in the water. But people need to be going back to optimum health. That's what we're trying to do with the Ministry of Health, to give people the well, tools to get healthy again. Yes, yes. Well, I mean, the globalists up on there on the hill, on Bilderberg 2013, the globalists up on the hill there, and this is why we're all here today, they want us back in the Stone Ages, don't they? Yes, yes. So if they want to, uh, even if they want us back in the Middle Ages, eventually it'd be like this. It might as well be the Middle Ages. At least in the Middle Ages, uh, people were bartering. Okay, you had feudal overlords, but we're going into a neo-feudalism now, aren't That's we? It, yeah. So uh, there's a delicate question I'd like to ask you. If they're pushing us back to medieval times where we're all uh, dependent on each other, um, I know they want us to be dependent on the state, uh, uh, and, uh, but at some stage, before they clamp down and say, no, you need a license for food, no, you'll be arrested, sent to prison for growing your own organic food, just before that stage happens, once everyone's bought and having to barter and depend on each other just for that time, until that happens and hopefully we'll stop it before that gets that bad, uh, they're actually empowering us by taking away our material uh, uh, means of getting goods. They're actually empowering us to to be more dependent and self-reliant on, e uh, reliant on each other as a community. So we're kind of going back, this neo-feudalism 
almost could work against them. What do you think? It's going to backfire. What are your thoughts on that? You are dead right. It's going to absolutely backfire on them because people are like today. We're having so many people come up to our table, young lads who say, "What can I do? I understand that what they're doing. They're taking over." Blah blah blah. This is the stage. And now we're saying we're here. We're here to help. Let's network with each other. Network across the country and make sure that we're all protecting each other. And yes, it is backfiring on them. People need to get. I don't think it's ever been at this stage so far. I mean, we had the hippie kind of hippie hoax thing and nothing really came out of it. it was, everyone was just uh, uh, shattered, um, split up and things, you know, so, Roger. Yeah, people need the courage to step from one side to the other, because the choice they'll have now, and particularly in 2015, is that you can be in this system that they've got, where you're taxed to every corner, you're enslaved with debt, because money is issued as debt, not as credit. The National Health Service is a big pharma monopoly. Oh yeah, it's, what, what it's we a murder, murder eugenics program. That's right. Yeah, what yeah, we yeah. will yeah. have with Lawful Bank... Murderous eugenics program. We'll have debt-free money. No taxation, mm -hmm. because the money raised to run the administration would just be a transaction like Silver tax coins and gold coins, coins yeah. Yeah. So you can, you can use Boil that. them down, melt them down, smelt them down and make gold and silver coins instead of anything. So that, junk silver, you know. So people won't need to work. Both parents will not need to work to run the household. You won't need to work six, seven days a week mm. to pay the bills, to pay the debts and all the stress that causes. Yeah, and you probably have systems set up where it would be impossible to spy on your internet. For example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like uh, proper firewalls, real ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, the, the current system is that we're being farmed. We're in tax farms. England's a tax farm. France. It's a world a reservation. Farm. We're being farmed like animals. Alan Watt talks about that on Cutting Through the Matrix. Alan Watt talks about that we're farmed, and that helped me realise a deeper insight. Like, oh, we're farmed yeah, yeah. like totally animals. Yeah. That's why they're so, ca you know, and don't scare the sheep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Don't, you don't. I think it was Payday Monsanto that said in a hip hop tune. Uh, don't scare the sheep, you know. Uh, uh, a shepherd, a smart shepherd, never sharpens his knives, uh, knives in front of the herd. You know. Have you heard of Michael Tellinger and the contributions movement, the Ubuntu uh, political party that he's set up? No. He's actually, that's a very interesting concept, because what he's doing is empowering the people to grow their own food and all the little townships around South Africa to actually grow in abundance and, and all they meet up in a central position and each village that's growing in abundance will share their abundance with the other tribes yes. so they all don't want for anything. Yeah. Because we live on an abundant planet, this planet will provide everything that we need. What these people are doing is trying to take all of that away from us and what we need to do is go back to living in that abundance position. What they've done is, like you said, put us into a mindset. Decentralised us, But also put us into a mindset of, I want more, I want more. What, what more do you want? I mean, how much more do you want from this planet? Well, you, 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 you realise that when you just lie on your back and look at the stars. Yeah, what more do you need? You know, with a full belly. <laughs> yeah, a full belly and your wife. You know. yeah. There's a village in North of England Maybe where they've done this. Yeah. They, they, they've just grown food on every area there is, whether it's film now, whoever yeah. owns it. So, and it's working and people just take the food. Yeah, you, we can we can feed ourselves just with imagination and mutual trust. There's a thing it's quite simple. It's incredible yeah. edible. And yeah. uh, gorilla gardening. Uh, gorilla gardening. I've seen the book on that. Somebody, yeah, yeah. Some guy handed that to me outside Westminster. He said he was trying to... His brother died in uh, Afghanistan or Iraq. I can't remember now which. It's a great he, title, isn't he, it? Um, he gave me the book outside. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. So it's a great title. I've seen the book. Yeah. Yeah. And get people to know what food it's is. It's mainly that? American based pictures yeah, yeah. and stuff, yeah. you know, but it's happening here in England a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. People are starting to wake up and we need to get people to understand what their body is, how the body works and how food interacts with the body. That's a really one of the most important things to keep yourself healthy. So. Okay, so the number here is, uh, if you're interested in finding out a bit more about this, is uh, Peter Parker. It's 07970 930949, 07770 930949. And uh, Roger, Roger Lefebvre. Roger, Roger Lefebvre, 07968. That's Roger, 07968 844079. 07968 844079. And that's the Ministry of Health. And please get in contact. Please get in contact if you want to help. We, all the hands. Oh, so you're appealing for help too? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need people with expertise in farming. Because if we raise the I'm a landscape quality. gardener. A pl I have excellent plant knowledge. Oh, look, good. Look, well, um, uh, Fagus silvatica, beech. Yeah. 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 Because there's uh, an American... 
doctor in the 1930s, Dr. Kerry Reams, and he was an expert in soil quality, and they found that if the soil quality is high nutrient, you don't have any pests. Mm. The pests mm. don't like the vibration of high quality soil. So no, you don't so need compost, compost, compost. That's right, and so we need people Recycle with your garden knowledge waste in, and in, in, in right, okay. farming and everything else, because so we any, need to anyone, be self-sufficient. So anyone that has gardening experience or, or, or knowledge of plants or just farming, wants to learn, that's right, or absolutely. just wants to learn and help yeah, out, Permaculture they, can, background, they, can, they can contact you and you can it. help them. So yeah. where are you based at the moment, yourselves? Uh, Pete, Peter's down in Surrey and I'm in Hertfordshire. Right, So yeah. it, it's wherever, really. But so you're encouraging people in their own communities to do this kind of thing. Right. Yeah. And we have people in Kent, and we have people all over the place, actually. The plan okay. is to have the Ministry of Health on the county yeah. regional basis, so people re-identify with their county, which we hope will then encourage them to reconnect with England, take responsibility, and let's get our Eh? Well, exactly. Hope it's not too yeah, late. Yeah, yeah. Thank, you. Yes. Thank you, guys. Uh, lovely to, Thank lovely you very to much. speak to you. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. That'll be on Free Truth Show YouTube, okay?